Oh, my name's John Douglas, and I'm the rhythm guitar player and the lead singer in Who Shot John. And I'm Tyler Birch, bass and sometimes back and vocals, Who Shot John. And um, where did the name come from? Uh, I was trying to find, at the very beginning stages of, of the band, something to call it. It's actually not the easiest thing in the world to come up with a name for a band that's not already been taken. There's a whole lot of them out there that you'd like to use. You can't. Um, I was in the process of doing that one night when I stumbled online onto a, a documentary uh, of Popcorn Sutton, who's a, a very famous moonshiner. And you know, I just got interested in it, easily sidetracked. So I started to watch this thing. And he's, he's a famous moonshiner. The, the, the episode, he's making a, uh, a homemade still. And during this process, the, the person that's interviewing him asks him what are some of the different names that he has heard for moonshine. And he starts to ramble down a, a bunch of different ones. And he, he says the Who Shot John line. And it made me think of a time that I'd heard it before in a, in a John Wayne movie that was one of my favorites when I was a kid. And it just kind of stuck. It just started with us sort of finding out about Blue Sprocket and looking into it. And Lindsay had some, your wife Lindsay had yeah, yeah. some connections with Travis down there. And, uh, and like I said, it was just a matter of putting together the funding for it. And then when we finally got all of our ducks in a row on that, we just went in and started recording. And just sort of went from there. We did two days straight of just recording with Chris and everything and just, you know, track everything and then have since been sort of trying to piecemeal it together as little bit as we can. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really probably the first time that I'd ever, I've been in studios before but never with really like a, a full scale project that I was like in charge of, you know, I've done some other things with other people but it was, uh, it was interesting to spend that kind of, kind of time there because it was back to back 12 hour days, I mean it was, it was a real process and we had just an absolute ball, we just mm -hmm. went in there and had fun. And, and uh, cut up, and, and it was it was a uh, it was really cool to see the process kind of from both sides too. Mm -hmm. um, well, let's say uh, Wilco is a fun one. Will Wilco <laughs> is a, is a, is an interesting song. Now that wasn't just a particular word. Uh, it's a, it's a song that we that we put together. That's kind of an illustration of of the of, of the point of view of somebody that has an incredibly boring job, Some, somebody whose job's awful. But where I got the idea from the song was I, I was on uh, my way to a show up in Stanton. I, I think it was just a duo maybe yeah. you and I were doing. Is that Bistro or something? And I, I'd been sick um, with a sinus infection or something, and I, and I stopped at the, at the Wilco Hess station in Stanton to uh, pick up, I think it was a, just a pack of Lifesavers or something like that, you know, for the, for the performance. And I, I walked in and I stood in line behind probably four or five people and I got up to the counter and I just had this like little 89 cent thing and I didn't have a dollar on me. I didn't pay attention to whether I had any cash. So I actually had to take my card out and, and swipe it. And uh, when I did that, the, the little woman behind the counter gave me this god awful look and looked like she was just having the, the worst day ever. And when I walked out, the sign was right there in front of me, the, the Wilco Hess thing. And it, it just kind of got the idea rolling, and uh, after a fashion, yeah, we, we put the song together. So just buying a stick of candy did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do a, a mix of kind of classic rock and roll, uh, a lot of covers and, and things like that. Uh, rock and roll and soul music and a lot of blues. Uh, mm -hmm. And then our own original material, which lies somewhere in the middle of all that. Mm -hmm. 